Okay, it's that time to use the answer for bullet. Bullet chess. We've got our rating down to 1100. And that's where we're starting from. Let's see how we can traverse for the target for the 1800. This is more of a realistic challenge for me. Let's work our way through nice and steadily for the 1800. That doesn't mean we're going to get it this instance. It's a long term journey. Now we're ready. We've had the practice on the bullet. We've had loads of games now. Well, not as much as the Blitz or any of the other categories because we weren't interested in bullet at all. But now we are looking at bullet and I want to do it realistically. I want to start from the gusto, from the bottom and work our way through. Are we ready? Let's go. The answer to bullet chess. Well, not to bullet chess, just using the answer in bullet chess. Well, it's taken a long time for a seek here. Right, we are off. Let's go. Just pacing. Nice, steady. Steady opening, just take the time, we've got one second increment. It's enough time to get a bit of thinking in. Let's grab here. I'm practicing the narrative as well, alongside it as well. And just castle here. No issues, problems at the minute. Opponent's overthinking, so we'll just push this bishop through. Attacking the rook, let's bring the bishop here. So we're winning on time, so they've gone for the classic. Ooh, well, I'm not too sure about that. Not too sure about that, let's go. So they've gone for a quick and dirty type situation. But now they're going to have to overthink, which is going to be good for us. Let's just bring this here. Okay, so the constant thinking, just push this um, up just to block the bishop off. It's going for the quick and dirties. You can expect this type of action coming down, but they're having to think, which is a good thing, slows them down. Or is he looking to take here, but he really wants to disturb this. And not too sure about that particular move. Has he actually landed on something here? Just move the king across. Let's get them thinking even more. I think he, I, thought, I was going to say, I thought he was trying to think about escaping his queen. Maybe his queen just takes the pawn here. So we know what they're trying to do. Yeah, so it's just take there. So that's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, what he does have now is like a big attack coming through with his queen onto this situation. So there's two things that can happen here we could sacrifice our bishop in a sense putting a check on his king pawn takes queen takes um, but then he's still going to get that position even if we move he's still going to get that position so that looks quite meaty for them but i'm sure there's something that can be done to rectify the situation i'm going to bring the bishop here the rooks attacking the queen Again, they have to think, how do they then get this redress? It's going to be attempting to keep pushing these pawns down, but the queen needs to mobilize somewhere. Probably coming here again, trying to still maintain the pressure on this bishop on the knight. Yep, so it's gone there. So again, we can maintain the pressure, but if we do that, it still has that, that type of situation going for them. So while they're doing that in the meantime, I'm actually just going to take the pawn here. And then I'm just going to swing the queen over and attack his queen. So his pawn's obviously wanting to come down to attack. And that's all well and good, but he doesn't have the power base now. So we can bring this here, but then his queen would drop. So our rook could attack the queen, but the bishop takes. 
So is there another option for this situation? Bishop can come here like we said, but his pawn will take. So that's um, double whammy at the minute. We can move the king out of the way. So we're down 25 seconds at the minute, so we've had to think as well. This queen's probably coming here, we can take the queen off the board. So we've still got them thinking, they're on 30 seconds, where you can see it for yourself, so I don't need to say. And if we come here, attacking the queen, could have to move a bit quicker now. Still, if they come here, we can take it off the board. So there's a lot of pressure being put on, so they're on 17 seconds. So they grab another pawn, is that a good position? Let's just attack the queen. Obviously the exchange may start kicking off at the minute. He's still potentially looking to try and push this pawn down here. It's a one second increment so they could do it. So he does actually capture, so I'm going to take with the rook. And we could take the pawn off the board to alleviate any potential issues. Um, yeah, let's take it off the board and just move the king out of the way. Okay, let's move the king. And then we're looking to put a check on their king just to give them something to think about. And we win on time.